If you are doing email marketing, you need to watch this video because in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you an amazing, easy way to use ChatGPT to automate your entire email marketing program. Check this out. Now, the first thing you need to do is log into your ChatGPT, go to the plugin store and install your VBout plugin. It's a very simple, straightforward process. Once you've done so, you can learn all the commands available to run your marketing from here by typing the word help. And we've programmed about 35 plus prompts, and this is growing uh, in the future. Now, I'm going to think about a topic that I would like to include in my email. So let's just choose a random topic on the history of blockchain. So I'm going to say produce or create a 200 word document on the history of blockchain. And this could be anything, right? And the reason I'm doing this here is because I want to see the content before sending it to my email campaign. I could have sent it directly via the prompt, but as you know, the more you interact with the chat, the better it gets and the more personalized the content becomes to you. So I'm just looking at the content. I like what I'm seeing. So what I can do next is I can parse the command to VBout and I can just say, create an email campaign in VBout or create an email campaign with this content and relevant subject line and put it in draft. I could have elaborated more and said, send it next week on Tuesday or a random time to which list I would like to send it to if I know my email list in the system and I have a command for that. So I'm just gonna type it. And by the way, if you ever get an error because sometimes ChatGPT does not recognize certain things, it gets smarter throughout the chat. But if you ever get an error, do not panic, just repeat the process and it works. So let's see here, discover the history of blockchain. Okay, is this the same content? Okay, it's kind of in par. All right, there you go. So now if I go to VBout and I refresh my campaigns page, you're going to see the content. Now, I don't like this format. So what I could have done in ChatGPT is actually told the command to format it in HTML. So I can say, create another email with similar content. format it in HTML and relevant subject line and put it in draft. Let's see what this will do. I always like to look at what's going on in the background. I feel it's fascinating how these things get produced. It's like the machine thinking right there in front of you. <clears throat> All right, it seems like it's just re doing the same content. Yep, it is We're doing the same content, which is fine. And by the way, we are dealing with machines, we are dealing with AI, so these are not perfect processes as of today. This is just the beginning. All right, your campaign has been successfully created. So let's see the difference now. Okay, this one in HTML, so let's preview it. Okay, a little bit better, it has some format to it. Not the best, but you can obviously go in and modify the spacing, the font, the font size, and so on. So it changed from this to this. So let's do one more. Okay, so create another new content on the history of blockchain and create a similar campaign and be about. You can get very smart with the prompt. Again, this is your world. The basics are there and the chat is getting smarter as you are going through it. So you see it's producing another 200 word document. 
And if you're reading this, I mean, this is really good content. Okay, you see how it's going through the chain of command. Now let's create the similar campaign in Vbout. All right. <laughs> I'm just reading as I'm going through this. All right, so you can make it more than 200, right? It doesn't have to be capped at that. I just did it because I don't want you to be waiting for this to produce 500 word document. So now it's pushing this content into Vbout. You know, some things are redundant, but I want you to imagine if you're typing to your, you know, marketing content manager and you're telling them, to do these things. This is literally the same exact time it takes for you to give them the instruction or to give them the task that is taking this to produce the task for you. So this is it. Let's go back to VBout, refresh, and now blockchain evolution campaign. There you go. All right. And this is it, guys. I can go on and on. I can get more sophisticated with my prompts. I can create more copies. And I'll also show you in the next video how you can create your own designs instead of having a very simple HTML and parse that content back to it. So stay tuned. If you like this, please comment in the chat if you feel there's a use for your company for something like this. Thank you.